Hi, this is a channel all about photography, cinematography, and videography without spending thousands of dollars on expensive gear, but still manage to get high quality images. Wrong intro. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna talk about how getting shots like this, that, or this without spending tons of money on expensive gear. This segment is called First things first, you will need a product. I took this effect panel for guitar. You take your guitar, you plug it in here, you stick the girls through it into the amplifier. I took an effect panel because I play quite a lot guitar and it helps a lot if you have some knowledge about the product. You can take whatever product you want, at least it should not be the size of a car. Today we're gonna use my trusty old Nikon D5600 with an 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. You can get this camera for like 500 bucks in the used market. I use it on many occasions, like event photography, nature photography, even wildlife photography. You can use whatever camera you want to. You can even use your phone. We're also gonna use this cheap softbox from Amazon with a 50 watt light bulb in it with a temperature of 5500 Kelvin. Why can you see on this chart? You can get those for like 30 to 50 bucks or on the used market. <laughs> We're also gonna use some accent light. I'm gonna use this table light I found in the store in the city some time ago. We're gonna hit the product with some warm goodness with this light bulb. So, the plan is we have this light shining on the product in a nearly 90 degrees angle, more like 80, and putting a setup up here with some decoration. I'm gonna use a tile cabinet because it's pretty fitting to a guitar effects panel and then we we'll place the guitar effect panel on it and put some decoration around it. So we have some decoration here. An old camera, some cables, some other guitar effect panels, a tuner some water, more cables, even a guitar, and some tools. And now we build up a setup with decoration. And the most important thing about this is the product always needs to be the main object of it. something really interesting to do, we have to check the frame, that means we take our camera and look for the viewfinder and check how the image looks like on camera. some test shots, um, rearranged a few things and came to the conclusion I need something more, I don't really come to the uh, result I want to. So a final touch up of the setup, it's okay-ish until now, but we need something special. I 
decided to ditch the idea completely with the front shot and changed it to a um, top down flat lay shot. This is what it looks like on the Canon R8 and we'll change to the Nikon pretty soon. So, we have the setup. It looks quite nice. Um, one information. Never put water on electric devices. <laughs> Just doing it for like aesthetic reasons. And we have to clean them up afterwards, definitely. And now we take the shot. Interesting lighting here. Um, we took the shot. Um, I used uh, 125 of a second with ISO 400 and f3.8. These are the settings. Okay, we'll look at it there. Um, this is what the shot looks like on camera. I hope I can focus on it. Eh, kind of. Um, yeah, now it's time to put it into Lightroom, do some editing using some free presets I found on the web, and finish it up. So, we go into Lightroom, you see the favorite picture of mine of those pictures I have taken we see some presets and the typical writers from Lightroom I'm gonna use a preset from the Dark and Moody collection by North Landscapes a photographer I personally like a lot presets are a good point to work from especially in the beginning there are a lot of free presets out there just to learn how to color correct images, how to find your personal style, to see how professionals work in Lightroom and take the information for you. You need to find your personal style and especially in the beginning, those free presets I'm very useful. So I go with the dark and dramatic preset here. This looks a little bit strange, but we go from there, put the exposure slider up. This looks quite nice. I would like to have some less highlights there, or maybe some. Uh, no, some less highlights there. Go with, back with the shadows a little bit. Playing a little bit around with the whites and the blacks. This looks quite nice. Maybe we go to the color mix there into the reds. Like you see, a little bit less saturation. We have this red point here. We want a little bit more saturation and a little bit more luminance so the red point is popping a little bit up maybe we go to the oranges they are fine maybe again to the reds making a little bit more orange this looks nice so the other colors are quite fine we can look into the image it's sharp as you can see we close the color mixer slider, we go to the optics, we see the lens correction is enabled, 
very important point, especially in the beginning, and to correct the distortion from the from the lenses. Lenses have distortions, um, and now we go to the crop tool. We go with a five four crop there. Nice rule of thought we are using here. Um, doing quite well, to be honest. <laughs> um, 4x5 because of Instagram, to be honest. Uh, people got so used to 4x5 that I'm gonna use it for this tutorial too. And um, that's the whole point. It's pretty, pretty much that. I'm thinking about a little bit of veneering. There we have veneering. A little bit more. We can open up the dryer. Change that midpoint, but I think it's fine. A little bit more. A little less feathering. Yeah, it's nice. And uh, now we don't have any noise. ISO 400 should be pretty noise free with your camera. If not, Lightroom has a really nice denoise tool with AI nowadays. It's working fine. I don't think we need any masking. We have pretty nice details. You can see the text, the color is nice. Overall, a pretty nice picture. You see, not much editing done there, just using the preset. Now we export it, and then it's done. So, this was my first tutorial here on YouTube. Um, please bear with me if I say a lot and on earth, but I was pretty nervous, pretty shy, I'm more like the introverted guy that's not talking that much. So this is completely new for me. So I would like uh, to see maybe some people subscribing, some people liking it. That would be nice, but you don't have to. Goodbye, till the next time.